I am assistant professor in WIT Solapur. Today we are going to learn about dissolved oxygen in the streams and its analysis. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand the analysis of DO in the streams. We are taking one example to understand the analysis of DO. Here a stream is given which is saturated with DO having its flow of 1.2 meter cube per second. It is also having a DOD of 4 mg per liter and a rate constant of 0.3 per day. It receives an effluent discharge of 0.25 meter cube per second having its BOD of 20 mg per liter and DO of 5 mg per liter and also having a rate constant of 0.13 per day. Okay, a average velocity of flow of a stream is 0.18 meter per second. Now, it has been asked that to calculate the DO deficit at a point 20 km and 40 km downstream. Assume that the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius throughout and a BOD is measured at 5 days. And it is also given a saturation DO at 20 degrees Celsius as 9.17 mg per liter. So, let us dissolve that question in a simplifier way. Fine. It is a stream which is flowing and an effluent discharge is added in that stream. What will happen? The DO will be taken down uh, to the stream and it will be dissolved and it will be decreased with respect to the distance and time. And the ad while the adding all its parameters are given that is effluent uh, parameters are given that is our discharge that is QE which is equal to 0.25 meter cube per second BOD YE 20 mg per liter DOE 5 mg per liter and rate constant of 0.13 per day. Stream parameters are also given that is our QS which is equal to 1.2 meter cube per second BOD that is YS which is equal to 4 mg per liter saturation DO that is 9.17 mg per liter and rate constant that is our re-aeration rate constant it why that's why it is written as R capital R which is given as 0.3 per day and here also here it is written as K that is deoxygenation constant so the DO is going to decrease here the DO is going to increase so both these constants are very much different fine and it has been asked to calculate what is the DO difference at 20 km and 40 km fine after the analysis we are arising for few questions okay so let us have few questions on it with the increase in temperature DO will increase as in the question 20 degree Celsius is given then why it is given and what will happen if we increase that temperature or decrease that temperature or what is the relation between temperature and DO for that and the second question is DO deficit that is our oxygen deficit will be maximum when so what are its answers when we increase the temperature the DO will decrease so this sentence becomes false and the rate at which the oxygen deficit is maximum it will happen when R is always equal to K fine at that point only the DO difference will be maximum so let us uh, analyze by taking few steps to solve that question so what is our first step first we will calculate the ultimate BOD of mixture in the downstream what does it mean when we add the stream which is having the higher BOD and the lesser DO to the stream which is having the lesser BOD and higher DO what will happen at that point what will happen to the BOD at that point okay so it is calculated as QS into YS plus QE plus YE divided by QS plus QE so what what are these these are discharge multiplied by BOD of the stream plus discharge of effluent into BOD of effluent of the stream divided by the summation of the discharge of stream plus discharge of effluent. So by putting these values we will be getting 
वैल्यू है सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाइन एम जी पर लीटर नाउ इट इज द बी ओ डी विच इज कैलकुलेटेड आफ्टर फाइव डेज एज द क्वेश्चन इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव बीन गिवन दैट द बी ओ डी विच दीज क्वान्टिटीज आर दीज वाई एंड वाई एस आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग दे आर बी ओ डी फाइव ओके दे आर नॉट अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी सो हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी फर्स्ट फाइंड द बी ओ डी फाइव ऑफ द मिक्सर दैन द अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी ऑफ मिक्सर विच इज हैविंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ वाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू एल नॉट इन ब्रैकेट वन माइनस टेन रेस टू माइनस के डी हियर के इज डी ऑक्सीजनेशन कॉन्स्टेंट फाइन सो द बी ओ डी फाइव दैट इज विच वी हैड कैलकुलेटेड हियर इज सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाइन इज इक्वल टू एल नॉट विच दैट इज अवर अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी इन ब्रैकेट वन माइनस टेन रेस टू माइनस पॉइंट वन थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव बाय हियर वी आर टेकिंग फाइव बिकॉज वी हैड कैलकुलेट द बी ओ डी फॉर द डेज ऑफ फाइव सो दैट्स वाई वी आर टेकिंग फाइव सो फॉर बाय दिस कैलकुलेशन वी विल बी गेटिंग एल नॉट इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट सेवन वन एम जी पर लीटर सो दैट इज अवर अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी वॉट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप इज फाइंड द इनिशियल डी ओ डेफिसिट ऑफ द मिक्सर Uh, we are calculating the initial DO deficit at the point where the stream is getting added by the effluent. So how it is calculated? The formula will be remaining the same, but instead of BOD, we are taking DO. Fine. Uh, putting these values into these formulas, we will be getting the value of eight point four five mg per liter. Fine. Now we will calculate the initial DO deficit of mixture. Fine. As we have the formula, initial DO deficit as saturation DO of stream minus initial DO of mix. By putting these values, that is saturation DO, which is given to us, that is nine point one seven minus eight point four five, which we are calculated uh, calculated here. By putting this into here, we will be getting the initial DO deficit, and it is coming to be point seven two mg per liter. now what is the third step we will be calculating the do difference at a point 20 km downstream here we have to first calculate the time as we know the uh, distance and the velocity of stream is also given to us okay by this we can calculate the time uh, we will be first uh, converting this 20 km into the meters by multiplying 1000 and the velocity uh, into days okay it is given in mg per second we will be converting this second into days okay how we can do that by multiplying 3600 into 24 okay it is hours and it is in one hour okay by that we can uh, convert this second into day fine by this calculations we will be getting the time in days fine now we will calculate the do deficit at a point 20 km downstream how we can do that we can use the uh, streeter phelps uh, equation so this is the equation okay here dt is the uh, do deficit at that uh, particular point after that time okay what is mean by t here t is our time after that time what is the do difference uh, what is the formula it is the deoxygenation Uh, coefficient multiplied by ultimate BOD, which we had calculated earlier in the first step, divided by R, that is reoxygenation constant, minus K, that is deoxygenation constant, uh, multiplied by in the box 10 raised to minus KT uh, minus 10 raised to minus RT. Here small t is representing our time. Fine plus D naught, that is initial DO difference. Okay, uh, of the mix. Multiply by 10 raised to minus RT. By putting all this formula here, we will be getting the DO deficit at that particular time. Ultimately, it is indirectly representing the DO deficit at that distance. Fine. So we are getting 2.089 mg per liter. Okay. Fine. So this is the DO difference at the uh, 20 kilometer downstream. Now, what is the fourth step? We had also told to calculate the DO difference 
at 40 km same steps will be there first we will calculate time here what will uh, change the velocity will not change because stream velocity from the start to end is constant okay the stream is flowed, uh, flowing at the same velocity so the velocity is not going to change but the distance will change fine and again by calculating this part we will be getting the time as 2.572 days and again using the stretter phelps equation uh, uh, thus we will be getting the uh, value of do a deficit here what is going to change only the small t is going to change because reoxygenation constant is the same okay and uh, deoxygenation constant is also going to be the same and ultimate bod is not going to change because it is never going to be changing fine by that we can calculate the do deficit at that time what is i here the time is 2.572 days by putting these values we will be getting the do deficit as 2.079 what you are going to analyze that the do deficit is not too much varying here the do deficit is coming to be 2.079 mg per liter and in the earlier step the do deficit is coming to be 0.089 mg per liter so the difference is very much less so what is uh, it is showing to us how we can understand these values okay we can understand by taking few questions by that here with the increase in the distance the do deficit is going to increase decrease or remains constant or none of the above by analyzing the third and fourth step we can say with the increase in the distance the do deficit is not too much varying it is not uh, too much changing so it is becoming constant it is not going to change that's why the c is the answer that is it will remain constant so these are the reference i have used thank you